All right, you have your orders. Proceed as planned. Understood, sir. Sir, you've been working non-stop for days now. Why not take a break? Prime Ministers don't get to take a break, young man. Do you understand what this job means? It seems like life is starting to get back to normal. You're right. We owe it all to the Ryman Eleven. Ah, one more thing, Smith. Have you made any progress with Victoria's request? Yes, sir. All is going according to plan. We'll be able to put things into action soon. I see. And if this succeeds, he'll be freed. Who is he? Prime Minister Vanguard. Oh, but, but, but you don't have to tell me. I don't have the right to talk to the Prime Minister. Never a moment's peace. Hello? Daddy! Um, I'm sorry. I didn't say any such thing like never a moment's peace. I'm more than happy to talk to my... D Alias have a stronger team. Are you sure? Oh, no! It seems there's a team code named G, and it's supposedly even better than Epsilon. Jude came to this conclusion after analysing training data. I don't really understand these words, I'm only a little kid. Can Alias's plans really have advanced that far? What's wrong, Dad? N nothing, nothing at all. More to the point, are you alright, Victoria? I heard that some members of the Ryman Eleven were so badly injured they had to be sent home. Relax, Dad. I'm not a little girl anymore. Don't worry about me, okay? Just focus on your prime ministerial duty. <laughs> <laughs> That's never a word about to say in my life. Prime ministerial. Hey, up. Prime minister, look out! Drat. Well, that could have been that could have been real bad. Standing around daydreaming without a bodyguard in sight. That's not a very clever strategy, Mr. Prime Minister. You're Smith, aren't you? Not the Smith who works for me, but the Detective Smith, who also keeps bothering me throughout this story. And literally all Smith does in this story usually has the other Smith in the same scene. But the point is, Alias has been constantly following Vanguard, and Vanguard can't say why. I mean, you know, it doesn't even need a reason. They, they would naturally want to get hold of the Prime Minister, wouldn't they? But I'm just a humble policeman, so forgive me if I'm speaking out of turn. But those kids from Ryman Junior High, the Inazuma Eleven, they will beat those aliens. Gotta love Detective Smith though, because he is the only guy who actually calls us the Inazuma Eleven. And with one Smith gone, we got the other Smith back. Chapter 7 The Secret Scrapbook Containing what, might I ask? Todd! Poor Todd! Yeah, that wasn't made completely clear in the last episode, but Todd was hurt so badly off-screen that he has been removed from the squad, just like Kevin and Steve and all the others. Alias Academy's ultimate football team. Do you think they really exist? Yes. Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I may have a hunch as to who might be on it based on all the cutscenes in that weird factory, and the character building, and the, you know, in the next chapter cutscenes, which I was supposed to talk about two episodes ago, but then I got cut off by in-game voice acting. If you want to go through this story completely free of spoilers, and it seems like an episode is going to end with one of those previews, just stop the video there. Generally with my two uploads per day. Upload every two days, you'll have probably forgotten by the time they're relevant, but still. I just wanted to make sure you were eating properly and brushing your teeth every day. Oh, and are you eating your greens? You've got to get your vitamins, Mark. I'm fine. You have to talk about this in front of everybody. It's not my fault I forgot my toothbrush. Oh, I am sorry, Coach Hillman. Huh? Hillman's there with you? Yes. But I have some instructions for you. 
I want you head to head to Foshaw Junior High in Censored Town. You have to say that name quickly or it's just going to sound rude. And with Hillman's extremely slow style of voice acting, I'm not going to say, ahem, Fukuoka. <laughs> That's going to plague me throughout this entire chapter, but apparently Mark's granddad left a scrapbook behind in <clears throat> Fukuoka, <laughs> which contained some very good special moves. So, we need to go get that, it's a top priority, before we have get to get to be introduced to this G team. Are they a G force, I wonder? Bye, Mark! Make sure you talk yourself in properly when you go to bed! Nah, mate, I got all these women, they keep offering to do it for me. Don't know why, it doesn't aid them at all, does it? So that was your mum, Mark? She sounds lovely! Mark's mum ex the Prime Minister forever. What? Said? She's got opinion? As if. I'm not some big crybaby like you. You don't need to worry about being tucked in properly, do you, Annie Bunch? You got me to do it for you, see you? <sighs> right. Seems like I'm going to be getting a lot more lines of dialogue now that you've been introduced. Even though I'm still not uh, playing any matches, but uh, never mind. Maybe I'll slip into the squad now that Todd's gone for a bit. I say for a bit. No, he's gone. In fact, I can bring that up. In the game, Todd leaves the squad because he gets injured, so he involuntarily leaves the squad. In the anime, Todd actually leaves the squad a little bit later than this, but he does it voluntarily. He just leaves a note in the bus in tears, being like... <laughs> Trying to talk about the way Todd left the squad in the anime. Wasn't even reading, and I just tune into... Mom died ages ago. Right. I think she gets on with her dad. Yeah, Todd basically had a bit of a cry, wrote a note, and left the squad in the anime. But here he gets presumably punched in the chest by Zine. Father. What's it with all these posh voiced girls loving their fathers? Come on, Sean, we're about to head off. You're going to Fukuoka. Uh, all right, steady on, love. I'm coming. <sighs> What's happening to me? Oh well, the camera's panning off me. And well, um, yeah, still need to actually talk to Mr. Veteran. Nah, let's read the blog. We haven't. Oh well, that's me records. Jude's the top scorer. There's no point in having a most capped score, because it's obviously going to be Mark. Yeah, what is Ray Dark planning? Ah, uh, that's going back a bit. Yeah, we've got now generally either comments from Jack or from Heartland or from Banyan. The blog just gets better as it goes along. But uh, after a little bit of a delay, let's head to... <clears throat> F-U-K-U-O-K-A. -O it's all the way over here. No Pokemon region based on this place. Unless, like, one of the Ranger regions gets based on it. Tram, I've been learning about them in my driving lessons. Reused music, I'm afraid. You don't get anywhere new in Fukuoka, but just look at the top screen. It looks sprawling. It's actually just two straight lines, really, but... Yet another place with a specific theme to it. This place is really filled with trams. I like it. It's also nice and dimly lit. Fukuoka! So this is where you used to live, is it, Grandad? Oh, look at buildings, Shogabun. I love this kind of retro modern architecture, don't you? Ah, stop pretending to be clever. I bet you don't even know what those words mean. What? What's your mouth, you cheeky little squirt? Don't call me a square. You're right. We don't need to have what we don't need to watch them have a fight, do we? Let's just have a look around him <clears throat> and then see what there is to find. Well, obviously, Jack nearly walked on the bloody tram tracks. Those are trams, Eric. There used to be trams in Inazuma Town as well. You not? 
as many lines in this game, Nathan, I have to say. More lines than he did in the original Inazuma, because that was just an entire game of Jack, Todd, Axel, Mark, and in the later bit, Jude, and in the earlier bit, Kevin. Those were the only people with dialogue. Asked for directions for Tofosho. Don't think we really need directions, necessarily. There's only two ways it could be. But we're just going to, let's tilt the camera a bit, to get a proper look at Fukuoka, and more importantly, its sense of regional dialect. Oh, you get a sprite, okay. Give it back to the city, you blimmin' grockles! Now, oh my! The, oh, oh, he's having forced dialogue now. Now, up to this point of the game, the regional dialect, I at least recognise it, even if I've never lived in Scotland or central London. But at this point of the game, chapter 7 now, it just gets off the rails completely. What's that snazzy car doing over there? I ain't seen one like that before. I've never met someone who talks like this, and yet I can completely believe it. We'll have a look at that car in a bit, let's just pop in magic moves to see what's for sale. Uh, probably. Oh, you're different to buy presents for you, I, Jonathan Luckyman. That means she probably fancies me, doesn't it? <laughs> Tee hee! Uh, Jonathan Luckyman has been named in particular. Will he become relevant? We'll duff you up, says an old lady. We just got threatened to handbags at dawn. So we can actually buy Bed of Roses. That's Sue Hartland's weaker signature move. In Azuma Drop, that's one of the strongest shooting moves we could have. And all the moves that belonged to the Osaka girls at Triple C. Not in a particular need to buy any moves right now, but good to show that it's there because it's a fairly strong selection and I should really show off Bed of Roses at some point because it is quite a pretty move. Oh no, I didn't open the chest. Oh well, Lucky Man. Ryman? You know who we are. Of course we blimmin' do. We know all about you. Oh, soz. We're from Folks Show Football Club back way. Our headmaster told us about you. Jonathan Luckyman, team captain. Nice to meet you. Well, this seems a friendly bunch. Eek! What's the matter? Okay, he's just going to run off even more. <laughs> Come on, it's only Mark Evans. I know he's a bit loud, but he's not going to bite you. That is a proper limousine they've got behind him. Well, he's tuckered Mark out. I, I, um, uh, Techno notice. Scared of his own shadow, that one. Blimmin' liability he is. Alright, that's a bit harsh, the poor guy. When he heard he might be meeting you today, he made us bring him along. A friend? Oh, I don't know what to say. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, his name's Darren. Darren Lachance. Darren, don't be such a blimmin' wimp. Get over here now. You're gonna hear a lot of the word blimmin' while you're here. I mean, there it was in another line straight afterwards. That is pretty much the dialect in a nutshell. People here say blimmin', they say ent instead of ain't or isn't. And we have learned the directions to Fukuoka! So I shall finish just generally exploring Fosho. We can't actually do anything with this car. Look in the rest of the shops, show off the remainder of Fukuoka, and then we shall have a proper look around for sure. In next one, ain't it, blimmin' neck, etc. God, that's a tight doorway. I may even need to tilt the camera. Come on, there. Shouldn't have been that hard. It's just a line of dialogue anyway. I don't even need to show this stuff. Oh, these guys reference tennis! Tell you what, I might have never played this game if it weren't for the game which became my first ever Let's Play. Um, give that to Janus, I guess. Fair enough. Like, Mario Tennis Power Tour was my very first Let's Play. I'd wanted it to be my first Let's Play for years. And it is just basically Inazuma 11, a sports RPG. But instead of football, it's tennis. 
and your protagonists are silent. You, your, your doubles partner speaks. He's dropped his keys under the machine. This is where the final shop is. But I really love that game. I wouldn't necessarily say... Wow, the Lightning Eleven, that's a reference to this game's title. Inazuma is Japanese for lightning, but they decided to keep Inazuma anyway. I guess it makes sense because the game is still set in Japan, but I can't see many people remembering the name Inazuma. No need to see what's for sale in the G-Mart. They're always the same. It's not a case of you get new gym badges and you get better items. They're just the same in every shop. Now here is Farm Junior High, so I'm going to deliver a bit of a beating to them. I will try and show off one of Heartland's shooting moves in this, otherwise it shall be cut out, so I'll show the dialogue, and then that'll pretty much be the end of the episode, because we have now seen the entirety of Fukuoka, it's just these two streets ignoring Foshaw Junior High itself. So see you at the goal line, hopefully. Oh my, regular shot, come on, off the deflection of his special move, I've completely failed to take any shots with Heartland at all, because she just doesn't have a dribbling move, and Max has been getting all the chances, but that's a beautiful goal, completely past the goalkeeper, I, I guess I'll show the replay instead of showing the actual shot then, and that's the game with Farm. But even though I never even once got to take a shot with uh, Heartland, I did actually take a bit of a liking to one of the farm players I didn't recognise. So I suppose to round off this relatively short episode, I think I'll go about and have a crack at recruiting somebody from farm. His name was Doss. Oh, somebody here used to know Dave Evans. At least, I assume it's Dave Evans. Dave, I, there's, there's the next most important Dave in the Inazuma 11 series would be Dave Sanford on Royal Academy. And he's not old exactly. There's a training spot here. We'll get Nathan to sell some noodles. That doesn't sound like a bright future. Guts not too bothered about, so just palmed it off on him. Let's leave Fukuoka and get recruiting. Surprisingly, he actually moved over here to Ihime. It wasn't exactly spectacular in the dialogue department. This was my clear chance to use Heartland to get a goal, and then I wouldn't be obliged to use her ever again. But never mind, we just need to gain possession of the ball, so I guess I wouldn't have been able to shoot anyway. And I have won by doing absolutely nothing. I mean, maybe... I don't think I entered any inputs on the touchscreen there at all. Certainly didn't press any buttons. So, I did a Luigi. And so basically, he wanted to come with us, really. He didn't even put up a defense at all. Dawson is ours, and I actually have an empty space in the team right now. Except Willie's automatically filled it. He did move in automatically after all. Let's just put Heartland over there. In the next episode, we'll have a look at Foshaw Junior High. Let's see you then!